I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yes. So, so that's what he's saying is the people when he when 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 these disciples go out to the world and they preach the gospel to every creature and that's you right we're talking about you says yes i'm a part of this every creature uh -huh. says he that believeth is baptized and is baptized shall be saved right okay so i'm not going to read the second part right <laughs> because that doesn't apply to 17. so the ones who believeth and is baptized it says these signs shall follow them that believe right and that's you so these are just signs that will follow you it doesn't say that you go out and cast out devils well i think that means you right you it well it's not saying that okay this is a sign that will follow me it's not telling me to go cast out devil this isn't he's saying go and, and, and preach the gospel he doesn't right. say go cast out devils Go, go, go speak with a new tongue. Go take up serpents. Go drink deadly things. He's not saying that. What he's saying is these are the signs that will follow them and, that believe. Right. right. And, I, and I like the fact that, like you said in verse 20, God is doing the confirmation of the words that you're preaching. Yes. But, but he also showing a part that you're playing in it because he said they shall lay hands on the sick. They shall cast out devils. Yeah. They, the one who believes the gospel. Right. But you, the person, the same person who's preaching also falls in as believing, right? They're, they're no, no, no. This is saying, Jesus told the disciples, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Right. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Right. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Right. Then he goes back to those that believe. He says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Right. So the ones that believe the gospel that was preached by the disciples, he says, in his name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if if they drink any deadly thing, they shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Right, and I'm saying that action is you as a believer doing that. That's yes. you, right? Yes. So you yes. lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. I'm saying that's what he was referring to uh, when he said go to to the convict COVID-19 ward. But your part, I'm saying, is that. When, I, when you lay hands on somebody by faith, the faith is that God is the one that's healing them. Oh, yeah. That's who's recovering. And, and therefore, the, when we but, talk about that but, mountain, when we talk about being that mountain, we're saying is have faith that God is the one removing the mountain. That's all I'm saying. Your part is to say. Yes. And then believe because you have all, and all you need to have belief is what a grain of mustard seed, right? That's all I need. And I'm saying is for everybody that's listening, and to you and I, if we walk with a measure of faith, but all we need is just a mustard seed faith to to have God operate on our behalf to do His will. Because you see, like me, we still have to say something. That sounds like me. It's something. We play a role in what God is doing. Yeah, we we speak. We we're basically the the speaker. Uh huh. Yeah. We're not the source of the words coming out. We're the speaker. We're we're just we're just relaying what was was spoken in the mic. Right. I agree. <laughs> we're the sound. We're the sound system. Yeah, I agree with that. So I whatever God speaks to us, we just echo it out, and then it comes to pass. Right, but I, but I do believe though, like I, I, as I said, when I'm, to me it's almost too as a believer, all of us need to understand mountains will come to you. Right, you you have every person is listening to this knows that they have mountains. 
in front of them. <laughs> right? Just by light. Everybody has well, a mountain. We have to keep this in content <laughs> because the the this this mountain was there because they didn't believe God. Right. That's what this mountain was from. Now is this our our situations and circumstances that that arise in your life are are these mountains because did God tell you to 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 wake up in the morning and if you wake up with aches and pains is that a mountain? I, well, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to say is 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 just is existing a mountain or is a mountain is anything that comes up against God's word. And that's what I want people to understand. You apply God's word when when the enemy raises up a standard against you. Well, let's let's just let's put that in context with what you said, or at least I want to make you understand. I'm saying is that if if is, let's use the example of COVID nineteen. Let's use the example of not get, having a job. Christ said, "Can to give you life and life more abundantly?" Mm -hmm. Right? Christ Christ said, "If by His stripes, the Word says, by His stripes you are healed." Mm -hmm. But anytime something comes against you <laughs> that contradicts what he said, that's a mountain. And now it's the word. Well, of when God. you when you believe in what comes against you shall come to pass, that that is unbelief. Well, with the mountain. Oh no, I'm saying this. Let's, let's separate the two pieces. The mountain, the issue are coming in your life, my life, anybody uh -huh. listening, it comes like life brings mountains, right? Okay, so the code, <laughs> let's say, like you said, so Jesus said, okay, uh, well, the, the Bible says, by Jesus' stripes, ye were healed. Yes. Which means I am healed. Yes. So if I I get attacked. Yes. With COVID symptoms. Yes. If I believe the symptoms, then that is the mountain. Yes. It's, it's that a, is the mountain. mountain. But yeah. if if that that's that is unbelief, because <laughs> believing is by His stripes I'm healed. Well, well so, so yeah. if if. If the disciples would have just believed that that child would have been delivered from that demonic spirit, there would not have been no mountain, and that particular scripture wouldn't be in there. Well, now, so all I'm saying is the mountain only comes when you have unbelief in God's word. Now that's interesting. So if COVID attached you, and I'm not saying you have COVID, because I I won't claim any sickness or disease because that's against God's word. So I say that I'm attacked with symptoms of. Yeah, but you would you wouldn't call your attack a result of unbelief. No, no. The attack is the mouth. Yes. If I believe the attack, if I say I have COVID, you received it then. Then that is unbelief. That is a mountain. You know, that's interesting. Yes, you received the mountain. That, that is interesting. That's right. unbelief. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm tracking what you're going to say, but I, I, I'm wondering if recognizing the problem is unbelief. Opposed to saying is that I denounced the problem by the power of God. No, 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 no. You, you're not. You, you can't denounce something that you're experiencing. What you have to do is believe God's word, and not what you're experiencing. If you believe what you're experiencing, 
then you're asking Jesus, why didn't that demon come out? <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think when that... he told you to go out and heal the sick. How do you say speak to the mouth? And when you say so, speak... if if you if you're attacked. Yeah, when you when you speak to the mountain, the mountain is the is the attack, the 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 attack. Okay, I feel like I have COVID, or I'm having COVID like I have COVID like symptoms. That is a mountain, and I say, by Jesus stripes. I am here. That is me speaking to the mountain. I recognize the attack. And it shall be removed. Yes. So, so that, that means you're, if, not, you're, not, you're not denying the mountain is there. You're, you're speaking against that mountain to be removed. It's, yes. it's not a, so, it's not but, but the, opposite, the opposite to that would be to say, Okay, I have COVID. Father, heal me from this COVID. Right. But is that in line with God's word? Because God's word says, by his stripes, you were healed. I think I so. Think if you were healed, why are you asking him to heal you? Because you've been attacked. But you were healed. So you, you believe that you were healed. So you say, by Jesus stripes, I am healed. I believe your word, God. I do not receive this mountain. It must be removed. Now you say COVID, you are in the seat in Jesus name. And, and you, will and you do not doubt in your heart. Okay. Those things shall come to pass. But you are speaking to that mountain. That's the whole point. Yes. I'm not saying you're not speaking to it. Right. What I'm saying is, if you accept something that is the opposite of what God says you are, that is the opposite of the redemptive work that's already been done. Been, so if, last as I say, so you 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 sin you commit a sin right and then you say God forgive me of that sin so that's saying that okay now God needs to send Jesus back down to suffer persecution and to die for that sin again, all over again. That's not what that's not what they're saying. When they say that. Well, it, it is if you're if you're if you're accepting that you have not been your your sins have not been forgiven, and you ask for forgiveness for a sin. That is not receiving the redemptive work. You don't have faith in what Jesus Christ did. You're saying that Jesus Christ didn't finish the work that he was sent to do. But now if you say, Father, I, I'm sorry, but I truly thank you that your son, Jesus Christ, has forgiven me. I mean, has made a way that I am forgiven of that sin. And I repent that of. You don't ask for forgiveness. You've been forgiven. So that is unbelief, asking for forgiveness. That's interesting. Because uh, I got, to, let me throw this scripture at you. This same script, no, it's not the same script, it's another one. Falling with the grain of mustard seed again. Uh, read, read that for me. Start in Luke 17, verse 1. Okay. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible but that offense will come but woe unto him through whom they come it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones take heed to yourselves 
If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. So that, that does imply that sometimes people make mistakes. They, that's called, they did wrong. They sinned against you or whatever. People do sin, and he said, forgive them. But, so I'm saying you, you, you can do that because he's telling you that's what he wants you to be able to do. No, but he's already, that's us. That's us. He's talking about, but those people are believers too he's talking about, right? Yeah, but he's, he they, but they're not asking God to forgive them. <laughs> but they did sin. So you do say that if you sin, then you can tell, you can, you can at least tell a person, forgive me for my sin against you, right? Yes. Okay. I want to make sure you understand that guy. Okay, it. because that person is not God. Okay. And that person did not send Jesus Christ to pay the penalty Good. for your sin. Good. So if I sinned against my brother. Yes, sir. And it's on my heart for him okay. to forgive him, forgive okay. me, I'm gonna say, forgive me. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Could but you I'm not going to ask God to forgive me for sin when he's already forgiven me. Well, he forgive you, he but, forgive you of sin, but not sins that you commit as little. No, no, I'm trying to say the different. The, the, the major sin is not receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. The major sin of Adam is he rejected, he did not obey God. That's the original sin. Not sin, just sin. The original sin is disobeying God, correct? That's the original sin. That so was sinning. Adam's sin. Right. So when you sin as an individual today, you receive Christ already. So he's forgiven you and given Adam, he's forgiven you on that. But if you commit adultery, that you actually did a, if you did commit an act of adultery, do you ask God for forgiveness? That's the question. If you commit adultery, if you actually go and sleep with another woman other than your wife that's a sin correct that's a sin against my wife <laughs> it's, a, it's a sin against god too right because god words that thou should not commit adultery how can you sin against god when jesus paid the penalty for all <laughs> sin past present and future that's so a, that is not me sinning against god if you, because you, if if if, <laughs> That's a good if one. you don't do, you 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 would just be what? asking God to forgive you all day and all night. Well, the thing about it is, if you look at the scripture here, keep reading it. It says you forgive people seventy times, right? That that other scripture. It doesn't he, say forgive. Ask God to forgive you he, seventy times. He said. He said if a person on this scripture here. If a person keeps coming to you because they keep sinning, he said, go ahead and forgive them. And they said, and look what they said in verse 5. What did he say? Okay, and the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith. And 6. And the Lord said, if ye, if ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, yes, sir. you might say unto this sycamine tree, be thy Pluck up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea. Yes. And, and it should obey. obey you. Right. So my point, I guess, of saying is that God is basically saying is you forgive. He He wants us to forgive each other, no matter how often they do it. Right. I agree. And, and I agree. And, and that's not a problem with uh, God forgiving us too. But He's say, already forgiven us. He has to give you, but if you make a mistake. So if, if the disciples, Jesus told them to go and, 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 and heal those who are oppressed of the devil. They ran into this kid who was a lunatic. Right. And they tried casting him out. Right. So when they didn't and they had unbelief that 
is the sin. No different than Adam eating from the tree. They're not doing what was spoken of by God or Christ. So if you're saying if Christ said that he has died for the sins of the world. Yes. It's not Adam's sin. It's Adam and everyone that was in Adam's sin. But the, the original sin is, is, is that disobedience. That, so, okay. Sin. So, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, you're saying that only the sin that Adam committed and because I was in Adam, that's the only sin when I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, then Adam's sin is paid for and everything that I, every sin that I commit after that, that Jesus has to die for no. again? Nope. No, I ain't saying that at You're all. saying that I have to ask God to forgive me? If, if you sin against, if you sin, and we all do do different types of sin, the Bible we says, all sin every day. Yeah, we do. And he even said, that's why he, he talked to the disciples out of praise. He said, forgive me of my sin as I forgive those who sin against me. So that, that implies to me, he said, give me this day. That's a daily thing because we do make mistakes daily. And it's not wrong to go and say, God, forgive me for my sin. I thank you. But if forgive he's me. already forgiven you. But if you commit something in the future, if you can submit, you know, within an hour from now, you go out and sin. You, you did. You committed a, a sin, and he's he's saying, "I'm going. I got the go, I got the grace for you. I got the blood for you. But you know, you sin. You should at least come and say, Father, forgive me for my sin. Not for the fact of forgiving me of my eternal salvation. You have already granted me that. That's given. You already have eternal life in Christ. That's a believer's right to be given under the grace. But it doesn't stop you to sit there if you got to readdress or repent." Because he wants you to repent, right? If you yeah, repent, I'm not talking about repentance. I know. We're and talking look, about forgiveness. You, there's, there's two separate things. But when, when look at the scripture, when you sit there and say here, this is what we did before, uh, Mark, uh, no, Matthew chapter 6. Right here. One second. Matthew 6, right? It was 6, right? Chapter 6, and let's go here. We read it before, but what I was getting out of that was saying is in verse 5, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be like the hypocrites, as they love to pray, stand in the synagogue, and in the corner of the street, that they may be seen of men, girl, I say unto you, they have their reward. Mm -hmm. But thou, when thou prayest, thou enter into thy closet. That's that says between you and God now. Uh -huh. <laughs> when thou have shut the door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. Mm -hmm. And thy father, which sees in secret, shall reward the open. Okay. But when you pray, that's that's you. Use not vain repetitions as yes. the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much, you know, speaking. Uh -huh. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knows what things you have need of before you ask him. Uh -huh. After this manner, therefore pray, our Father which in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, that's the day, not give us this day, what, our daily, this is a daily request, mm -hmm. and forgive us of our debts, sin, transgressions, as we okay. forgive our debtors. And lead uh -huh. us not into temptation, Cause that's one of the things that I have to deal with every day. Temptation. Okay. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 
that's God, that's Jesus teaching them. And this is something we talked about before that is not a Lord, that is not an Old Testament prayer because it's, if, if, first of all, you didn't call God Father in, in the Old Testament. You call God God. Okay. And you also had to go okay. through a sacrifice like a pigeon or something like that. That's what you had to do. Okay. You know, also the fact is forgiving other people. The Old Testament is an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Okay. So this concept is something Jesus teaching not only his disciples, but us as well. Is it okay, but in this, this was prior to the redemptive work. This well, is this after the redemptive work, after the re the, 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 the the redemptive the, work. Yes, the scripture that addresses it says if we confess our sins, yeah, and he's yeah. faithful and just to uh, forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us for all unrighteousness. It also says in another place where Jesus Christ stands as sits as a, an advocate for us. It says those who are born again, I mean those who are, are saved, that they don't sin. It says if any man be in Christ, he cannot continue in sin. Yeah, how can you? But if we do he sin, if we do sin, we have an advocate. Sin, yeah. Yeah, we, we have an advocate. But it does indicate that. But it doesn't tell you to ask for forgiveness for those sins. They've been paid for. Yeah, but it said that it said that if we confess our sins, that he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Right. But he's Back already here, done listen. that. He's the, done that. <laughs> but he said this is the old testament letter. What is it? John three uh what is it, John three? Isn't it John two? All I'm saying is, let me ask you this. Did Jesus die for the remission of our sins? Jesus died for the remission of our sins, to reconcile us okay. with the Father. Did he complete that or did he not? That that's a completed uh, that's a completed work. Okay, so why are we taking this glory that Jesus did for God away. Why are we taking the power that what he demonstrated and belittling that, saying that he did not accomplish what he done? Why are we saying he did it? Why are we using when, a prayer that he gave to his disciples prior to the redemptive work being completed. Yeah, but then, once then, he completed then. the redemptive work, then the penalty of sin has been paid for. I, I, now, I think, I, and, and to top that off, he sent the paraclete that sealed your spirit, taking man out of the equation, which was the purchase possession, so that your spirit cannot be separated from God again. So I I just can't accept anyone be I mean taking away from what Christ did. I, I can't. But you I thank God but for, for, for I, I always think, thank him for 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 the the for um uh, what he's done as far as my sin I think is concerned. Can, I think you missed and, the apples, uh, Brother Addison. You, uh -uh, you, 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 you were can't be. Because if you're asking God to forgive you for a sin if you that he's already sin, forgiven you for. But if you commit to sin, you committed to sin. You, If you commit a sin in an hour from now, you have sin. Now, that is not sin until Okay, death. so then I don't see what the difference is. Because at, I, I was if I was born in the sin, you that's then, your original sin. You were. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> me, the, the, the one thing, the one scripture I think that might help us a little bit, and even, even the situation, you have a son who, who was born to you of uh, flesh and blood. Does okay. your son ever do anything that's against your will? All the time. Okay. Now, when he does that, is there a need for him to come back to you and address that issue? Does he come back to you and say, you know, Dad, I was wrong. You know, give me for that. No. He never does that. Okay. No. Where the one the one place where we the one place where we look at was uh he said to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. 
So the work that the Lord Jesus Christ did actually empowered us to become sons, to be reunited, to be reconciled to our Father. Okay. Being reconciled to our Father does not mean that we don't transgress His will. Right. Um, we, we as His sons transgress His will. And it, it speaks in one place, which is really funny, and I finally get clarity on it. There's a scripture that says that they shall be cast out into out of darkness with the unbelievers, with the with sinners and unbelievers. And I didn't quite get that. They're not casting somebody out into out of darkness that wasn't redeemed. They're casting somebody out into out of darkness that went against their redemption, that did something that was against their redemption. 